So you have an AR drone 2.0 and you're very unhappy with the video quality. Now let's just say you have a GoPro Hero 3 laying around and you want to attach this bad boy to this bad boy. How would you do it? Well, check out this tutorial and you'll have excellent video quality and you'll only need a few things. You're going to need the frame, a few zip ties, a GoPro Hero 3, and the AR drone. You'll need to use the flat adhesive mount and not the curved one. Picking a spot for the mount is pretty simple. You'll want to make sure you don't block the camera on the right and the two sonar stabilizers on the left. This here is not important, it can be blocked. Next we're going to have to design a few stilts so that the AR drone is a little bit taller so that the camera doesn't hit the ground when you're landing it. Using a very thin piece of plywood, I measured and cut out 8 4 inch by quarter inch pieces. I added one zip tie first to one side and let it sit against the propeller's motor. This step is very important, it'll prevent the stilts from moving up and down. Add the wooden piece and use two zip ties to secure it. Now you can see it's still a little wiggly so what we're going to do is add the second leg and put a zip tie right in the middle and tighten it. Before I try flying the AR drone with the GoPro attached, I want to make sure that the Wi-Fi signals are not going to interfere with each other. So I'm going to use the Wi-Fi Analyzer app on my tablet to see what channels they're both using. You can see that the AR drone is using channel 6 and the Hero is using channel 1, so we should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the GoPro Hero 3 and do a live broadcast to my tablet.